Hey there, fellers. Welcome back to another episode of Johnny Clyde Eats. Today, we are at Dickie's Barbecue Pit, and we have their limited time offering the King's Hawaiian Pulled Pork Sandwich, which comes with a uh, Dr. Pepper infused barbecue sauce. We decided to get this sandwich, and we also got their 80th anniversary combo meal, which comes with a classic pulled pork sandwich, a Snickers Caramel Crunch Brownie, a small side, which we got the limited time offering Texas Sweet Corn, all of those items come in this combo meal, this 80th anniversary combo meal, at a price of $8.80. It's a dollar extra to get the uh, King's Hawaiian bun. That's what we wanted to do because we wanted to try this limited time offering. This bun isn't going to be around forever there. It's just a, you know, a, a summer thing. So we're excited about that. Uh, we also got our big yellow cup here. This is usually a yellow cup. They call it the big yellow cup, but this is for the 80th anniversary. So it's a special cup. Uh, pretty cool. We got sweet tea. Before we dig into this Dickie's Barbecue Pit Mill, I want to go ahead and thank you fellas for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you haven't already. That'll keep you up to date with all of our new food content. And uh, we'd be glad to have you here as a subscriber. But a little less talk, a lot more action. Let's get back to this meal. First, we got our sandwich here. That is it. Um, I am not used to any fancy barbecue. You know, we come back from home at, uh, you know, Granny Clyde, Sassy Clyde. They had take me out to get some barbecue, but it was usually just the barbecue that they had there at the Easy Mart, which, you know, is tasty stuff, but uh, it's not anything fancy. I'm sure it comes prepackaged and they put it in their sauce and just heat it up. But this is an actual, you know, a big barbecue chain that's popular. I believe they have over 500 locations across the country. And we are so excited for this. I'm going to break out my silverware and get the barbecue sauce out. Excuse me if I'm being nosy. I'm in a gym parking lot and they're probably wondering why is this fella eating all this barbecue talking to himself in his car. And uh, well, we're doing it for you guys. So here is the plastic ware. We're gonna need that and barbecue sauce oh there's the barbecue sauce so our i don't know if you can see that so that's fancy stuff too we ain't never had no barbecue um dr pepper sauce before so this is going to be a whole new thing all the way around i'm going to try not to make a mess here because you know uh, this is barbecue and this sauce is a bit uh, juicy it's not super thick so uh, I may have me a uh, barbecue mess here in a bit. Some Dr. Pepper sauce all over my face. But we're gonna put that back in there as gently as possible. I may add a little more, but man, this stuff smells amazing so far. There's that. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and try this stand alone before we try our Texas sweet corn. I am excited about that though because I love corn and if it's Texas style, that must mean that it's extra delicious. Here is our, oh, okay. Yeah, we already getting messy. So kind of a, a look there. We got our sauce on there. I'm going to try to be as least messy as possible. So here we go. Mm. <laughs> already making a mess mm, man the quality of that meat you see that all right very good definitely way better than that stuff they get at the easy mark i love you easy mark sorry but very good mm. And that King's Hawaiian bun, I've never had it before. I've seen it in the stores, that orange packaging. It always sounds so good, but it is. It's very sweet, very tasty. Mmm. 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 Mm -mm -mm. I forgot to get my napkin out. I need that. <laughs> okay. Man, let's take a break from that. That is a very good sandwich. Very good. Okay. Now for the sweet corn. Get our spoon here. Ooh. 
still popping hot. Ooh, looks so good. I'll show you guys what we're working with. Can you see that all right? I'm sorry about the lighting. You know, it is a beautiful, beautiful day, but very bright outside. I tried to find the most shade I could nearby, but um, this was the best I could do. So I, I greatly apologize. There you go. That's what we got. I've never had Texas sweet corn before. I've just had corn on the cob or corn out of a can. So we'll uh, see how this goes. It looks really creamy, really cheesy. Man, I wish I could show you that better. There we go. It's kind of a better light. I really should have done a better job at the finding the, the shade, but it's it's like two o'clock in the afternoon and that sun, there's really no escaping it right now. So here we go. Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh. I should have blew on it first. This is piping hot. Mmm. It's so good. Ooh. Mmm. Wow. I'm trying to figure out what they got in this. It's, it's a little spicy. Um, it's sweet, but spicy as well. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. That is amazing. Okay. Let's go ahead and head up the dessert now. So, I am going to get some more tape. My big yellow cup. Not so yellow cup right now with the anniversary, but here we go. A caramel crunch brownie made with Snickers. Get a dessert too. Come on, man, Dickie's is killing it right now. Here we go, the uh, Caramel Crunch Snickers version brownie. Mmm, wow. I definitely never had that before. Mmm, wow, that is so good. It looks like those little, um, little Debbie snack brownies, kinda. You see what I'm talking about? Kind of tastes like it, but it tastes way better. This is so good. I'm not hating on little Debbie. I love you, uh, little Debbie. But man, Dickies is coming at it with this uh, brownie. So good. The barbecue sandwich, so good. Let's give you another peek of that. Um, there we go. Mmm. 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 Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That Dr. Pepper barbecue sauce. What do the kids say? Slap smacks? I don't know. It's definitely doing it. That's very good. So guys, we're gonna wrap this uh, review up after some more sweet tea. Mm. So this meal, just the sandwich itself, is like eight dollars. But I went ahead and I got the combo meal, the 80th anniversary meal. That was $8.80 plus a dollar for the upgraded bun to the King's Hawaiian bun. So $9.80. We're not going to include the price of the drink in this review because it's not what comes with the meal. Uh, I don't want it to, you know, bring down the value score. So we're at $9.80 before a drink. So a little over $10 after your tax for a value. It is a little pricey, but barbecue is pricey. If you're not paying a, a higher price like this, you're probably not getting the best barbecue. So I'm going to give the value on this one a small side, which we got the Texas sweet corn, a brownie, and um, a specialty sandwich, a 980. That's going to get a 9.6. That is a very good value for quality taste. I like my local barbecue places better, I would say. Uh, you know, we had Rod's Barbecue on here. We had Whole Hog Barbecue. Those are our local joints, and they were very good. But this is our first big barbecue chain to try outside of the barbecue at the Easy Mart, as we mentioned earlier. And, man, I keep looking at it. I got a ton to eat after I get off of here. I'm so excited. But value, 9.6, quality, taste. We're going to go with 9.7. 
So 9.6, 9.7, that's a 9.65, rounded up to a 9.7. This gets an overall 9.7, the uh, Dr. Pepper barbecue sauce, King's Hawaiian pulled pork sandwich with the 80th uh, anniversary combo. Y'all go check it out if you got a Dickies nearby you. Like I said, they got about 500 locations uh, nationwide. So maybe you will have one nearby. Go get you this 80th anniversary combo special before it's gone and that special sandwich. Uh, that's it, fellas. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That'll keep you up to date with all of our new food content. But uh, y'all have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're at. Johnny Clyde out.